Sean HD, thanks for the Canadian maple syrups. He has a 5900X and a 3080. He wants to know if 2024 is upgrade time. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15. Activate instantly online with Microsoft and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. It's getting there, but it depends. On your 2024, your machine is four years old. Now, it may not be four years old to you, but I want to say this to everybody watching. Yep. It does not matter when you built the machine. Nope. It matters when the parts launched. Zen 3 launched in 2020. The 30 series launched in 2020. A 3080 launched in 2020. A 5900X launched in 2020. In 2024, they are four years old. But that doesn't make them junk. Obviously, 5900X and a 3080 is still a great bit of kit. I'm gonna, gonna sound Australian then when I say that. <laughs> How to speak Australian. <laughs> so, it's funny he says this. Mm -hmm. Our youngest son downstairs, we're tech YouTubers, our children are spoiled. Our 13 year old son has a Ryzen 9 5900X and an RTX 3080. He plays Minecraft, Fortnite, what else does he play? VR games, mm -hmm. he has a, a MetaQuest 2. He, he plays a variety. He mods games. Yeah, oh, yes, he does. He, he loves, loves to mod games. Yep. He doesn't need an upgrade. He has a pair of 1440p 144 hertz monitors. Mm -hmm. 27s. Would he notice an upgrade? Yeah. Would it be dramatic? Mm. It works it would be expensive to replace that with something that would wow him. It'll be expensive for Sean to replace his machine with something that will wow, wow. him. Yeah, well. His only real choices for an upgrade this year is whenever Zen 5 comes out, he needs the 16 core version of that chip. Nothing less is gonna do. Nope. When Arrow Light comes out, it's whatever the i9 version of that is. Mm -hmm. For a video card, we don't know if the 50 series, 50 series is going to launch this year. And good it, luck finding a 4090. I would not buy a 40 series card at this point. Not in his position, not with a 3080. Mm -hmm. I'd buy a 4070, but a 4070 is basically the same performance as his 3080. So he's going to need a 5090. So in order for this to upgrade to something that makes you go... How much room do you have on your American Express Platinum card? In Canada too, holy smokes. Because it's going to be expensive. Yes, it is. I would be tempted to say wait, unless you are a super premium user with a 4K or ultra wide monitor, multiple monitors, and you're live streaming or making content, or you, you know, are at the top of everything. Do you want to run Cyberpunk at 4K Ultra Ray Tracing? Do you want to play all the latest AAA games at Ultra Ray Tracing? Well, if you do, you should have bought a 4090 the day it launched. Um, I'm sorry, that's the truth. If you were going to replace this, do you want to know when the time to replace this was? A year ago when the 13900K launched. Yeah. You bought a 13900K and a 4090 the day they launched, mm -hmm. and you just enjoyed it. Yep. Because you didn't. He's like right in between. Now he's saying it's 2024 the upgrade time, but the problem is we may not get the 50 series in 2024. No. If it doesn't launch until the first half of 2025. 2025 will be. Right. But then his question becomes when does the chip cycle, when is Intel launching 
Exactly. Six, 16th Gen. Yeah, they've all got it cattywampus for a reason. When is Zen 6 coming out? Mm -hmm. Because if Zen 5 launches like June of next year, for the sake of discussion, Zen 6 probably won't launch soonest until Christmas of 2025. Maybe spring 2026. Ooh. So, and who knows what all this is going to cost. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, rumors are TSMC's uh, two nanometer process is going to be $30,000 away from. The cost for the chips is... Unrelated note, a 600 millimeter square die, which is what the GTX 980 Ti had, on the 28 nanometer production process, cost of video less than $30 a chip, which is why those cards sold for five, 600 bucks. And now? On the two nanometer production process, a future 6090 is going to a cost of video somewhere between four to $600 per chip, assuming an 80% yield, and assuming a $30,000 cost per wafer. That's a big difference. So anybody who thinks the top end card should be $1,000 don't know what wafers cost. Video cards are going to continue to get more expensive, mm -hmm. which is why the whole APU thing is gonna have to happen because a budget video cards just don't have a future. You just just added to it. 1440p AAA games, high settings, 60 frames per second average. Keep what you have. I don't know that I'd replace it this year. You get a lot of value out of keeping it one more year. Reevaluate once we have Zen 5 and Arrow Lake details mm -hmm. and reevaluate when we see when 50 series costs and when it comes down and what it costs and how much faster it is. Uh, Ian, hi Ian. He said, uh, don't assume an 80% yield. Uh, hey, Ian, uh, the number I'm giving, I read, somebody did a calculation, a $30,000 wafer cost, 80% yield, 600 square millimeters at, what does it cost NVIDIA? And they came out with like $462 per chip. You probably look at who wrote that article and went. You probably <laughs> could do this math better than the guy who wrote the article. I, I, I don't have it linked here for the live stream. It's just I read it the other day. And they were comparing it to what the 28 nanometer wafers cost. Yep. And I was just like, that explains video card prices. Yeah. It, it does. Or at least it explains a big chunk of it anyway. Uh -huh. um, Why does he have to be in the UK? He needs to get over here and have this conversation <laughs> with us. I know. <laughs> uh, Sean said, thank you. Uh, been using our advice since 2017. You're welcome, Sean. Uh, he says, I'll, I'll do, do the, the math. math and get back to you. I appreciate it because that's, <laughs> I, it was, it was very, it was like 26 or $28 for the, for the 980 Ti chip and then over 400 for the future two nanometer TSMC. Okay, so he's asking Krishna, is 630K, 80%? 600 millimeter squared, yeah. $30,000 wafer cost for a 300 millimeter wafer, 80% yield. That's what I remember reading. Mm -hmm. I did not double check the math because that's not my, that's your so specialty. Be, so it'd be interesting to do the math on that and then the way that you suggested. Yeah, so and then how, what is the number, what's the cost per chip to NVIDIA using your defect rate? Yeah. Because to anybody who's new here or doesn't know, Tech Tech Potato is Dr. Ian Cutris. He has a YouTube channel. You should click on his name and go follow, go subscribe to his channel. Um, he has been in the tech PC space for a very long time. He used to be one of the key uh, editors at over at the website at Antech. Mm -hmm. He currently does consulting. He reviews high-end stuff. He has more CPUs than I do. Um, and he definitely has a different knowledge segment than I do. So and so on a subject like this. He says with those metrics, 117. That is way less. Than what they suggested. Than what I read. still more than the $35. Hmm. 
That's only three times. Oh, he retracted his message. Oh, did he stuff it? No, he'll put it back there. What time is it over in England right now? Uh, it's getting it's getting close to going Happy New Year. Are you about to have Happy New Year over there? Yep. Oh, he's he's already uh, he's already <laughs> celebrating. Is that time, what it is? Time in Happy New Year. Uh, time in the UK. Uh, Eleven forty-nine. Yep. See. He has eleven minutes to the Happy New Year. Using those, oh, one hundred and forty-six dollars, and that's still a lot. How different. do they get four hundred dollars? I have no idea. Unless they were putting something else, I don't know. I don't know how they were getting that. I don't have the link in front of me. I, I but he showed me the article. Okay, so it now, was a huge gap, and I was like, "Wow, okay, that explains that." Uh, with his metrics, one hundred. Oh, that's not too much different. Ten bucks. So if the forty ninety is made on five nanometer and those are seventeen thousand dollars away for why is a forty ninety sixteen hundred dollars? Mm. All right, Ian, here's a question for you. There we go. At seventeen thousand dollars for five nanometer wafers, assuming an eighty percent Yield. Why is a forty ninety sixteen hundred dollars? Because they can. Because they can. What does it cost them to make a forty ninety? Do you th Here's a better question. Oh. What do you think it costs Nvidia to make a forty ninety? From the chip, the GDDR five X, mm -hmm. and basic board assembly and the power delivery on the board. The he said the seventy nine fifty X is sixty nine. Of course, that didn't cover R and D and marketing. No, but. no, 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 it doesn't. All right, we still got a couple more while he's doing that. Jose says still from twenty eight dollars to one hundred and thirty seven plus development costs, packaging costs, and of course, ingredient attacks. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Um, Well, and it's also a fair point that what it costs them to make and what they can sell it for ha don't necessarily have to have anything to do with each other. Correct. A competitive market will push them down to their cost, but it does not cost Rolex $40,000 to make a watch. Well, no. They spend probably more money, I mean, I'm guessing, on the image and marketing and oh. store. They pay for displays in the store yep. to create a brand image than the watches actually cost. Mark, yeah, marketing. They don't want everyone to own. If everybody owned a Rolex, it wouldn't be special. No. All right. So they're intentionally expensive. Come down to Mac again. Do you think a 4090 is intentionally expensive just so people go, wow, look how, look how awesome yeah, it, my computer it's, is? Because if everybody had a 4090, it'd be nothing. It's a top-end tax. Okay, so he says with 600 millimeters squared, 80% 30K wafer, you get 70 defect-free dies per wafer. That's four twenty eight fifty seven per die, which is kind of in line with what you were saying. So how did we get from his number to the oh? Uh, his, how did we get up to four hundred and twenty eight dollars from the hundred? And 37. So I'm not, argue, I'm just trying to understand. His first answer, well, using my original metrics, he counted 146. Using his, he calculated 136. And then now we're at 428. This is very close to the number I read on the article. What am I missing? Because. Maybe we're having a cr this is the problem not being in person is because we're we might be crossing our conversation because there's the lag in the stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here's a question: Is the oh oh he said his one thirty was wrong. His calculator didn't have the right. <laughs> Nobody calculator. 
calculator. Bad calculator. Calculator's been on the drink. Too much port. Fair enough. Oh, there we go. All right, so that, that makes more sense. Oh, you know what? This is a fair point. A 4090 is not a Rolex. It will lose its value. That's true. 20 and 30 year old Rolexes can be worth a lot of money if you have the right model. Some of them are worth a lot of money. So that's, that's fair. Yep. So 400. Wow. So that's not going to be a $1,500 video card. <gasps> what do you think? 2,000? 2,500? Yeah. Okay, so Ian, here's the question. 6090, two nanometer process. If it genuinely does cost NVIDIA $400 plus just for the chip, assuming that yield, what's a 6090 like bit of cost? What, 32 gigs of VRAM at that point? It's, yeah, you'll have to, yeah. On a 6090? Yeah. yeah. Calculator ran out of VRAM. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, y'all are awesome. Let me scroll back up to the super chat here. Mac. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.